Okay, I get everybody's mad about the whole quarantine and social distancing and whatever. I mean, I get it, sort of. Listening to my friends, you think the world's ending, which is kind of funny because it's obviously not. And my first response to this, and I found out my mom came to my room, she saw on my bed, she put her hands on my shoulder. I'm like, did Mr. Whiskers die? Because I have this cat. And he's like 17 years old. Every time I see him laying down, I'm 90% sure he's dead. But then he springs up like a zombie, popping out of its grave. <sighs> it's terrifying. Anyways, I'm sorry, I'm getting off track. So my mom comes to my room, she sits on my bed, and she's like, TJ, I have to tell you something. I'm like, and I was playing... And I was trying to play Minecraft, so I'm like, oh, did Mr. Whiskers die? Let me know when the funeral is. I'll probably come. She's like, what? TJ, don't be disrespectful. Which is what she says whenever I say something she doesn't like. And she took this deep, calming breath, like I'm really trying her patience. And let's be honest, I probably am. And she goes, this COVID-19 thing is escalating. They've canceled schools, and I don't know when Joe will be able to go back. TJ, I'm sorry. On the outside, I put down my controller. I turn to her. I'm like, Mom, it's okay. We're going to get through this together. On the inside, I was like, Boo. Hello, because I don't have to go back to school. Yeah, I'll miss my friends, whatever. Okay, when I'm, when I'm at school, I'm busy all the time. <sighs> Seriously, my life is like this. Wake up, eat eggs. By the way, I hate eggs. Go to school, talk to my friends for like one minute. And I always have to go to the bathroom. But no teacher will let me go to the bathroom. School's over. Track practice for like two hours. And then when I get home, mom's like, first do algebra and then escape time. <sighs> oh. Oops. I probably should have told you I'm a superhero. Oops. That probably would have been helpful like three minutes ago. Oops. But I'm not like this guy. Oh, my name's Iron Man. I saved the galaxy from Thanos. No, my name's Cape Boy, because my mom hates me. <sighs> I told her I wanted to be TJ the Destructor. But she's like, no, that's too threatening. You're going to be Cape Boy. Cape Boy. And then she sent a picture of me to the newspaper where I'm just standing around this weird spandex under Armour costume she made for me. And she's like, New York's new newest superhero, Kate Boy. <sighs> Everyone at school, the next day was laughing. They're like, ha, 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 Kate Boy, what a stupid name. And I can defend myself because of my identity. <sighs> Anyways, yesterday was the first day of quarantine, and it was Awesome! I slept for like 13 hours. I played Minecraft and I ate six bowls of Lucky Charms. And then my mom came home around like nine. And she's like, okay, TJ, it's Cape time. I'm like, what? Are you serious? I'm quarantined. In reality, I don't care about the whole quarantine and social distancing. I just do want to move in because I hate doing things. But she's like, people need you. I'm like, Minecraft needs me too. <sighs> and she's like, TJ, if you don't get your cape on right now, I'm going to throw away all your shoes. I'm like, oh, mom, first you endanger your only child, and then you threaten his shoes. How cruel. Besides, I can't go out there without a face mask. And then she brings me a pink face mask. I'm serious. It was actually pink. She's like, wear it. 
Mom, if I were the outside, I'd get super beaten up by all the criminals. And I actually deserve it. But then she laid up this huge guilt trip on how people need me. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, fine. So I put on my dumb costume. And I jump out my dumb window. And I flew through the night, which is fun the first time. Then after that, it's super boring. So I'm flying through the night. I'm like, I hate this. I hate my life. I'm going to be at home. I want to play Minecraft. But then I saw this old guy on the street corner. He goes coughing. Like a lot. And I flew down and landed next to him. And I was like, are you okay? And he was coughing so hard he couldn't talk. And then he passed out. I don't know what to do. Like, I'm not supposed to move sick people. I'm supposed to call. I'm supposed to call an ambulance. But he was turning gray. And he wasn't breathing. So, so I picked him up and flew like into the hospital. And I went inside. And it was bad. My mom told me it was bad, but I had no idea. Everybody was, everybody was running around wearing masks, wearing fat, wearing gloves and masks, and and it like I didn't I I didn't know what to do, and I tried to find someone to help, but it was like there was anyone to help. So I just, so I just sat him down, and he was feeling a little bit better, like. He woke up and he talked, so Ray just talked, and it turned out to be he went. He turned out to be he was a veteran, and he just couldn't find a place to live. And I mean, like everything, just was so chaotic. But in that moment, like everything felt still. I don't know. When they finally had space for him, I stayed with him until they had space for him. And as they were taking him away, he's like, thank you, Kate boy. Like, obviously, I felt good, but at the same time, I felt bad. Because, like, I had been so mean to my mom about this whole thing. And and I thought about my mom. Now she comes home every night. She can barely keep her eyes open. Yet, she still, like, encourages me to go out and do Cape time. And I know it's hard for her since it's just the two of us, but she still does it. So when I got home, she was awake and she made eggs. Ugh. So I went to her and hugged her. She's like, social distancing. I'm like, mom, can a son just love his mother? She's like, what was that for? I'm like, you're a superhero. She's like, I know. So I think I'm going to do some extra cape time today. My mom says she thinks the people in the hospital would like to see Cape Boy. I think they like to see TJ the Destructor. But whatever. I think I'll do, I guess, like, I'll do some good. I guess that's what anybody can do. Yeah, I don't know. I may eat some. Lucky Charms and think about this. TJ, what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> Young man, you need to finish your English so you can have more cape time later. Are you making a video? No, I'm just holding my phone. Young man, you need to finish your English. And nobody cares enough about Mr. Whiskers to keep making 12-minute YouTube videos about him. Tell that to my 12 subscribers. Young man, even I know 12 subscribers is not impressive. Now finish your English, and then you can have more lucky charms. <sighs> Mom, why do you have to ruin my life? <sighs> she really is a hero, just not right now. 